Hey guys, um, I wanted to do a video on how I sharpen my chisels and planer blades. Plain blades, not like plain as mediocre, but this type of plane. And yeah, this is an old one, but it was within arm's reach, so. But I've seen a lot of videos on where people take and I think without a doubt, sharpening them with sandpaper is the way to go. But I've seen a lot of videos where people use a plate of glass and use an adhesive to secure the sandpaper to the glass. I made this a couple of years ago and for me, it works, it works very well. At the time, I had a couple of pieces of 4x4 four four, uh, redwood when I lived in Arizona. So I cut it down. It's a little bit wider than a 2x4. Taller, I'm sorry. A little bit taller than a 2x4. And I had this epiphany one day that I could make a sharpener for sandpaper. And what I do is I cut the sheet of sandpaper to fit this board. I ran it through the plane, but if you have a good table saw or you're really talented with a jigsaw or a circular saw and you can cut this super flat, you should be good to go. But long story short, I took these, which is like a screw thread on one end and a machine thread on the other. I drilled a hole into the edge of the board and I put this in it and I drilled another hole and I put a dowel just to keep everything kind of square so once you have that done you can do like I did put a washer on it and a wing nut which means you can slide this out which leaves this gap so you can put your sandpaper in it like that tighten it down on both ends and then you have this flat surface to sharpen your chisels or your plain blades or whatever you want really I put this tab on it I glued and screwed it and the reason I did that is so that I can put a clamp on it clamp it down tight to my workbench it doesn't move and you have both hands free to do your sharpening I coated this with Thompson's water sealer so that when I'm sharpening something I can spritz it down with some water and the wood is not affected because it's protected it's kind of a run so basically how this works the way that I and I hate to use the word design but the way that I made it is obviously you drill a smaller hole than threads on your um, threaded screw area put the washer on the wing nut on and this stuff I all got from uh, Home Depot so then you put your sandpaper in here cut it to fit put it on the other side Stretch it as tight as you can so that you don't have any ripples in the paper. And this is a used piece. I've already used this. Like so. And you can use this for your fingers as a hold down to do your sharpening. Or as I actually prefer, to clamp it to your work table. I have one of these jigs for sharpening that actually is pretty darn accurate and as long as you get your angle correct 
and quite honestly I don't know what the angle is I just kind of eyeball it up to the sharpening surface I don't have any water on this right now for the purpose of the video but then you can follow the standard sharpening method and of course when you're done with the front you can spin it over on the back and you can get rid of that bar that usually occurs it was super easy to make once you have the hardware that you need and like I said this is just a quarter inch dowel just to keep this this little lockdown piece centered and it's not completely centered but it's pretty close and this hardware you can get like I said at Home Depot super easy to change a sandpaper there's no glue no cleanup and if you put a coat of Thompson's on the entire thing water and oils not gonna hurt it and it really really works good this chisel is like a dollar store chisel and I'll be honest I used this for cutting up some tile so this edge was really rough I put it on the grinder a wheel grinder and I got rid of all the imperfections and then I touched it up on my sharpening block as I call it and it actually came out pretty good It's actually pretty darn sharp and if you know how to sharpen on a piece of sandpaper I truly think that this is very how shall I say I don't want to say well thought out because that praises myself which I don't like to do but it's it's a very simple easy clean and sustainable sharpening method so I just wanted to share this I, I showed my wife for the first time like I said this is I've had this for a long long time I just showed her yesterday or the day before how I sharpen these because she asked she borrowed one of my good chisels and she was like oh my god that's so sharp it's almost scary how do you do it and I thought you know maybe somebody else would be interested in this so that's why this video exists today today is Saturday November 6th 2021 hope the world is treating you right and you guys have a great day and we'll talk soon take care